Come on. There's a couple of phrases which a lot of people um, don't necessarily use. Um, I'm going to say phrases like this don't really exist in Nepal, but this is a British curriculum. This is certainly something that would exist in most Western countries. So if you are just working a normal job, you get, so let's say that, so when I was at university, I got paid $26 an hour. A lot. That's a lot. No, it's not. That if, if I got paid that now, that would be terrible. That's what I got paid when I was at university, right? So I got paid $26 an hour as a lifeguard. I got to stand around and watch people swim. It was not the most exciting job in the world. Every three hours, you test the pool for chemicals, and then you walk around saying, don't run, get off the lane rope. Don't run, get off the lane rope. It's very exciting. Yeah. So what... What we would do is if I was working a normal hour, like if I was just working a normal job, I would get 26 bucks, all right? Let's say that in an average week, I worked 14 hours. It's pretty obvious how much money I get. How do I work that out? 26 times 14. Okay, that's pretty obvious. So if though I was working on a public holiday, that means I get more money. So I am giving up my public holiday to work. So work is going to compensate me by giving me something called time and a half. So if I get time and a half, yes, that is an H. Um, what that means is, so I am going to get one and a half times my rate of pay for every hour that I work, right? So I'm getting 26 times 1.5 for every hour, right? So I'm getting thirty nine dollars an hour. That's crazy. I've heard all the work <laughs> um, So this means if I work for six hours on a public holiday, which you're not allowed to do, so let's say five hours, um, I'm not allowed to work more than a five hour shift as a lifeguard. Why do you think I wasn't allowed to work more than five hours? Because you're tired. Yeah. Kind of. What's the problem if I'm tired? <laughs> I am in charge of people's lives. I am not allowed to be sleepy. The maximum you were allowed to work on the pool deck was five hours. So uh, nobody died when I was there. Somebody did have a heart attack in the water. I wasn't there, thankfully. Um, and yeah, Isaac performed CPR on her and she lived. It was amazing. She's very lucky. My cousin, he was also a lifeguard and the same thing happened to him, but the person died. It was really sad. Yeah, working in a pool, like a lot of people don't want to do that because you are in charge of people's lives and not everyone wants that responsibility. So how much money would I earn that day? Five times three? Okay, good, 195 bucks. That would be for five hours work. That's pretty good, right? I'd be happy with that, which is why I used to do it. So... This is a phrase that you need to notice. If you're being paid time and a half, that's what it means. So let's have another look at an example of this. So let's say that you work nine to five, right? If I work overtime, I might get time and a half. Tim and a half. Time and a half. So if I work overtime, I get time and a half. So let's say that I get, let's say I get 30 bucks an hour. Okay. So if I get 30 bucks an hour and I work eight hours, right, I'm going to get 240 bucks. That's because you're a poor student. So, you know, okay. Let's say that I work also from five to 7 PM. So I work from 9 AM to 7 PM. How much do I get for my extra two hours? I'm going to have 90 because I get time and a half, right, which is $45, and I'm working two hours. So actually I'm getting $90. So how much have I made that day? Right, because I made this for my normal eight hours and this for my extra two hours. So I made 330 bucks that day. Okay. Do you know? Do you want to know how much you get paid for teaching for a single day yes. in Australia? If you're a relief teacher, you get like three hundred and fifty bucks a day. What? I don't know. What the hell am I doing here with you people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is how much I love you. <laughs> All right. Uh, it thinks I'm sitting. Up. Huh? <laughs> if I was working in Australia, that's how much I get paid. Yeah, I know. I get paid nothing here. 
All right. So when we're talking about pay, we might need to break up our pay into sections before we can add together the total. So have a think about things like that. So blah, blah, blah. Some of that is happening at the start. Hourly rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What if... So let's say that I earn $280 one day, but I have to pay 12% tax. It's not actually. That's nowhere near what you would pay. Let's do it properly. No. Uh, let's say, say 36. Okay, so 36% tax is a pretty average rate for Australia. So if I'm paying, guys, if I'm paying 36% tax, how much of this do I get to keep? 64%, right? So if I'm paying 36% tax, I'm keeping 64% of my money. So what do I do with this number and this number to figure out how much I get to keep? How do I do that? Times what? 0 0.64. 0 .64. Someone do that on a calculator. Tell me what I'm getting. What am I getting? 179.20. Don't forget to put a zero on the end. This is money. All right, so I'm getting 179.20 in my pocket. The government is going to take some of my money because obviously we pay for things like roads and police and public education and hospitals and all of that sort of stuff. And the army, all sorts of things. Hospital. Government plays for roads. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> roads. Not food. No. Okay. So think about things like tax. Think about things like hourly rates. Um, that's all I'm going to tell you. There's not really anything new today. It is just putting financial things together. All right, let's 